So Mike, how does your shoe smell? My 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 shoes smell like um, grilled halloumi that has been in the fridge for two days longer than it should. I can smell it here from here. I know. <laughs> my most sincere apologies, and, and what and and furthermore, on my four hundred and twenty seventh point, yes. it's not really that bad. Fine. As someone is blocking their nose because it's someone else's, other else's um, mature jam. <laughs> you do realise that all dogs like their own scent, right? Yeah, but you you can you can comprehend other people's smells to a point. Fine, fine, fine. Anyway, why are you wearing shoes? Um, speaking of that. Um, this is the As Yet Undecided podcast. With your smelly hosts. Mike and Sophie. It's humid. It's humid, alright. In, in fact, it's been so humid for the last few days, I have to go, I have to go and wash my hair now. It's lump. It's lump? It feels it's depressed. I mean, this, this weather's making my hair depressed. Well, well, you can take, um... <sighs> Prozac. No. Methamphetamine. Mm, no, that's illegal. Amphetamines. Um, um, blue pills. Blue pills. Um, I'm, I'm not a man. Um, courgette pills. True, yeah. Other lump things. Yeah. Or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, just for context, Mike one ex- once accidentally overcooked the courgettes by five minutes. Now, n- n- now I did not overcook them as... Um, there was a la- uh, layer layer of carbon nanotubes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I did overcook them because it was my first time cooking courgettes. Yes, well, Mike isn't used to fancy vegetables such as courgettes and, and asparagus. Yes, I'm s- <coughs> I am so... I am, I am used to... Um, Parsnip. R- rooted vegetables. Rooted vegetables. Parsnips, Swedes, carrots, bunions, beetroot. Yes. Um, also, the nails off your grandmother's right hand. Is that a, a root vegetable? Underground vegetable? Yes. Um, I am not going to bring up the other point because it would indicate an R rating. Yes. You know which point I'm talking about. Oh, I know, I know. Yes. In reference to not one of us. No. Mm. So, how was your week? Apparently you have 71,372 jobs now. How did that, how did that happen? I don't know. Apparently... The populism has come home to roost. No, it hasn't. <laughs> I only have one. I only have one um, casual job and one full-time job. If if you had seventy-one thousand three hundred and seventy-two votes, yeah. Not only would you be the member of parliament for Epsom, yeah. You would also be the member of parliament for two the, the two neighbouring suburbs. Really <laughs> fabulous. But anyway, um. Because of my job, I can now bring the bread and the baking home. What? Really? Yes. You went with that joke? Yes. You went with a breadwinner joke? Yes. I went with and a bacon joke? Yes. Because this, thing, because this pretentious food corner is sponsored by bacon and cheese sticks. Bacon and cheese sticks. Bacon and cheese sticks? You can get drunk off it. No, you can't. Breakfast booze, though. It looks like breakfast booze food. Yeah, but I'm like, you bring it home the bacon. Yeah. And the bread. Yeah. And the stick. Yeah. To whack your abusive children. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So, um, how about you? Do you have a job? No. Yes, you do. Oh uh, yes, I have. Your occupation is a student. No, my occupation is a is a talking body pillow. Or neat. Yeah. You guys do occupation a neat. A neat. Yes. Yes. 
whatever that entails, I did not receive a job description before employment. Oh, I know, right? You don't even get job benefits or unions. You have to be on it 24 7. No breaks during Christmas either. I know, I should complain to my union rep. That's right, I thought I signed an individual agreement. I know. Anyway, Petitus Food Corner. So it's like, oh, it's even contains cheese, which apparently um, is addictive. Today I learned that cheese is addictive because it contains a chemical that's similar to dopamine. Yeah, you're not wrong. Really? Mm. Explain further. I can't. I like cheese. <laughs> Now, the problem I see with this, yeah, you can go to any bakery, yes, yeah. and pick a bigger version of this mm -hmm. for far cheaper, yes, yeah. and it will be fresher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, but this is pretentious food. But did you pick it up from a pretentious bakery? Yes. Was it employed by the majority of the world's population? Yes. Classic Bakehouse of Taiwan, I believe. No, sorry. Mm? You have to say it correctly. Say it then. Chinese Taipei. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say it correctly. Mm. You don't know who's listening to this. Mm. Yeah, you know, you know. Next time you go to the motherland, mm. you, may, you may be, you know, captured as a um, prisoner of war. For treason? Yes. I'm going to die then. That means you can never go to China ever again. <laughs> I thought you might like that joke. <laughs> Do you like this? It is okay. Where would you recommend I get my bacon and cheese sandwich from? From the poor, from the poorest bakery you can find. Is this comfort food? Mm, yes. Is this breakfast food? Um, no, because it's not fresh enough. If it was fresh. This is your proverbial You know you know what would taste No, sorry, sorry. Hmm? What you know what would be more comforting than this? No. A six pack of freshly made cheese buns from Count. Ooh. Take it straight off the packet, like a tear apart. Yeah. And eat it like that. No, you have to melt the cheese a little bit first, stick it in the microwave. No, no, when I mean freshly made, oh. I do mean freshly made. Like straight off the oven. Mmm. Would you call this breakout food? Breakout food? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I love you, darling. Mmm. What? Here is a sub stale <laughs> cheese and bacon roll. And now I'm dumping your bitch in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to be clear, Mike and I have never been in a relationship before. And we're not going to, ever. No, 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 no. Please rephrase that so it's correct. Mike and I have never been, is not, and never will be in a relationship. No, 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 no. No, no, that is still incorrect. No. Can you put okay? Me and Sophie will never be in a relationship mm -hmm. with each other. Oh! <laughs> Please remember that point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may not be in a relationship, yeah. but I have been. Oh, I see. Previous iterations. Like how many times? Three, four times. How did this bitch just abandon you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. Some of them hmm? were self-induced. So. 
Um, but, 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 you, you know, you think that if you thought about the game of chess in a nutshell, yeah. even though yeah. even though you did not inflict the final the final dagger, mm-hmm. your moveset was still self-inflicted. True. So two of them were self-inflicted and two of them were... Um, how can I rephrase this? In a polite way. Um, it was their bitch ass fault. No, 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 no. Because, it, 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 like, I always think of the relationship as, is that rain? Yes, that is rain. Um, let's say, um, yeah, they, their actions will, yeah, can never be forgiven. Forgiven. That's the best way to describe it. They shall not be forgiven. They're the, they're the continuously sold and, um, irre- unrepentant ones. So, um... I would consider it as a personal sin. I see. Otherwise known as... Um, what do they do? Are you comfortable saying this? Um, um, cheat code? <laughs> yeah, one of them did the um, up, up, down, up, <laughs> and out, and out. With, um, oh, w- wait, 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 wait. Can you please... Say that again, because that is actually way funnier than I was expecting. Up, up, down, up, and out, and out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now you see how funny that is? Yeah. Because, one, for that reason, yeah. and two, there's no in and out button on a controller. <laughs> <laughs> press, press, press. <laughs> there you go, that's a better one. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so someone else pressed the devil's doorknob when it should be you. The devil's doorknob. <laughs> yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I have not be. I have not compared that to a devil's doorknob before. <laughs> maybe I was being a knob. Yeah. And maybe I was chucked through the door. Yeah. And y- 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 you know, devilish good looks to some people. I don't know. How, no. No. <laughs> I guarantee there's no one in this room that thinks that I have devilishly good looks. Ah, oh, don't worry, Mike. We're just a bunch ma- of... Ma- Mike, ma- we're a bunch... You know what, friends? But the only person who probably would think that is the remote. True. And it's an inanimate object. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, um, do you know why we're good friends? Um, because um, you give me money. No, it's because of both ugly. Ugly people stick together. Um, UGLY, you ain't got no alibi, <laughs> you ugly. <laughs> now, I, I did this first line of singing for today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, let's admit it, Mike. We're both ugly people. Yes. Yes. On that depressing note, let's have uplifting. How did you get... 72,340 jobs. By being Chinese. So that's how it's done. Yes! <laughs> yes, unfortunately. It's, um, so basically what's happened was I ended up with this door-to-door um, knocking business with a real estate agent. We're just trying to get his, get his profile up. He's in Stonefields, and um, there's a lot of Chinese people who live, who live there. So apparently, having a Chinese person actually helps comfort them, makes me look a little bit, makes him look a little bit suspicious. And if it needs be, I can speak a little bit of Chinese. Um, by the way, the agent is Kenneth Alexis of Remax, and if you list a house with him, there's a one in fifteen chance of you um, winning in a, in a sand leaf, which, by the way, has breaking problems. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's because that he did break the ice accordingly he gets someone else to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> I find it news a little bit funny, right? It's, it's, it's just, um, wait. How the hell could I get into jobs 
happened to sell Nissan Leaf cars and suddenly Nissan Leaf cars are now useless. Now, okay, say that again, but I'm going to put in two words when it's when it's time. How the hell can Nissan Leaf start having problems when I start selling them? Or Full minimum them? wage! Oh, <laughs> minimum wage! <laughs> minimum wage, of course, of course. Have you ever had a terrible consequence like that? Like, oh yeah, I'm going to sell something now. There's now a product recall. <laughs> Crap. Actually, um, yes. yes, and, um... Okay, tell us about that story, please. <laughs> please, please tell us, it, please tell us that story. Now, because I am a newsy type boy. Yes. Um, and I, I, I did like some international news. Yes. Alright. Um, I was working at your local Kmart. Yes. And I, I, I watched CNN. Oh. And Fox News. Oh no. Oh th- no! <laughs> You're infected, Mike. This this, this was bef- this was 2006 Fox News. They were better. No, they were still always pretty crappy, but it's okay. I I personally watch it because it's hilarious. Okay, so you didn't watch it for. Satire comedy. So anyway, you're watching CNN and Fox News back in 2006. Yes, and you know, with those product warnings for, you know, product recalls for romaine lettuces and other stuff like silver beet and other fresh produce, was um, a company that painted children's toys with lead paint. Which company was that? I do not remember. Yes. And I actually, uh, I woke up the next day, walked into that store Mm. to do my accounts as I did every morning. Yeah. And I said to some person in the toy department, these need to be taken off the shelf. Yeah. Because you're going to get a product recall notice. So, you know, they ignored me. Yeah. I took them off the shelf anyway. Okay. Next morning, fax comes in. Product recall notice. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Mike, you were right. <gasps> really? Oh my god. <laughs> you? Yes. Uh, I was like, okay. 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 Um, okay. So with that being said, you forgot to tell me something the other day. What was that, Tony? Why is Satsumiku a better celebrity than Justin Bieber? You mm. seem very, very <laughs> adamant on that. Because, Why? Because she is. <laughs> I, I had not watched the video. State your argument. She's cool. Justin Bieber's not. Well, but Satsumiku, she's not real, though. She is a software. Therefore, can she actually fit the description of a celebrity? I I believe that the amount of fakeness that is portrayed in the celebrity realm yeah. can be perceived as not real. Okay, and but Hatsumiku is a sixteen-year-old, which everyone sexualizes. So do people about Justin Bieber. Hatsumiku, she is. She gives people unrealistic beauty standards. She can be the reason why the Japanese birth rate is falling so quickly. Well, with Justin Bieber, apparently you can be engaged after three hours of meeting somebody. Yes, but uh, (laughs) at least Justin Bieber was realistic. In that he is still human, with flesh and blood. Is that your only argument? No. (laughs) <laughs> go, 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 okay, okay. Just like Justin Bieber. Yes. Jose Mimiku was also uh, cr- uh, created. Hey, what, can you say that name again, sorry? I do not know how to pronounce it I correctly. I believe it's Hatsumiku, Hatsu? Hatsumiku. Yeah. Was also created. Or was it Hatsumi Miku? Was also... Okay, like, I did not do my research. He was also created. Was also created by 
a biological being. True. But she is not a biological being. What's your point? There, there, there is plenty of non-biological stuff that has been created that is far more worthy of celebrity-dom than a human being. Okay, I have to admit this is a bit of a silly argument, but... Um, I know, I know. But, it, yeah, but, here's, the, but here's the deeper argument. Should celebrities actually be artificial beings than real people? Ooh. Um, it, it is... Whoa. Whoa. Sorry. It is getting to that point. Um, and it's getting worse. Yeah. Um, just like the Chinese news presenter. Who is now fake AI. Who is fake AI. And then, the, you know, you can also, you, you know, um, escapism. Yes. Through media can be somewhat fake and have the portrayal of a particular entity. Yep. Say, Vigimo Games. Last time I checked, being a plumber isn't all what it's cracked up to be. Being a plumber does not give you access to housewives. It, it doesn't give you the ability to give you fireball powers. And jump on mushrooms. And jump on mushrooms. You eat mushrooms, not jump, jump on, on them. them. But the thing is, like, um, the, problem, the problem I find with Hatsune Miku is not with the character herself, but with rather what the fan does with her. Mm. I found Hatsune Miku porn. Why did you go down that rabbit hole? I did not. You did. The video. You did. Yes, I. Oh, yes, I. I am going. Down Your that eyes rabbit hole here. have seen it. I, my eyes have seen some of her pole dancing. I uh, know I have a mental image. Thanks. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. I like giving you um, strange images. That is a very strange image. <laughs> yes. A 16 year old pole dancing. Why? I mean, do you think that's a little bit problematic? And the problem is, in my thoughts, she's not even close to real. She's still in 2D cartoon on a pole. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thought process that's in my mind. It's not like 3D polygoners. It's still 2D dancing on a pole. <laughs> I know. So Hitsumi Miku is now. Um, I've seen a few seconds of Hitsumi Miku pole dancing. Okay. <sighs> I know this is a dumb argument. Yes. But I'm going with it. Yeah. Would it be better if a person <laughs> was able to have these fantasies of fake entities compared to the real ones? Yeah, that's a big debate, isn't it? That's uh, that's what I was hoping to, to discuss for today. Like, is it? really that worse to have fantasies about fake entities and real entities? Was it better? How much is it better? Or are they just as bad as each other? other. <clears throat> is it really that kosher to think of a fake 16 year old <sighs> pole dancing? No, 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 no. I, I, I'm thinking a lot larger scope here. Such as? And I and I'm and I am relating this back to Fox News. Yeah. And other news entities that that the people writing the articles do not understand. Right. Does does plain FPS make you want to murder somebody? No, it doesn't. I'll tell you why. Violent people play violent video games. Video games does not make people violent. Yes, but media portrayal. No, they got, they, got, they got it the wrong way around. They put the cart before the horse. Yes. Yes. They put the needles before the strawberries. Yep. Oh my god, we have a capsicum. <laughs> we have a needle and a capsicum now. Needles and capsicums. Chop them up before you use them. Yeah. Um, I was always confused about that argument. Yeah. So anyway, is it... Okay. And of, of course, it's like... um. Should you be able to um, fantasize about sixteen fake sixteen year olds doing underage stuff or fourteen year olds? 
Okay. See if you have a problem with anime, right? Because they over sexualize 14 year olds, 12 year olds, 10 year olds. Okay. Yeah. Like they have 10 year olds with size D cups. And, 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 and the problem is, is that you are using the examples. Yeah. That I use regularly. I know. Where do you think I got them from? Well, exactly. Um, now, I, I I am not speaking for every person. Okay. Right. Right. And it, 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 like because this is the way that I deal with things. Yeah. That there is a difference between thinking and action. Right. Thinking does not imply action. So Th- thinking may lead to action to action but okay so with that being said is it ethical for you to make um an animated an animated um 10 year old girl pole dancing i mean she's only she's only a character she does not exist but is it ethical for you to um okay animate her Hold on a second. Now, for me, yeah. I would not do that. No. Because I cannot draw stick figures. But if you could, if you could animate it. But the, yeah, it's. I've I've got I, I've got two things very really torn up about this. Two completely different points. What? Um. And this will probably lead to another discussion. Yeah. Um, imagination, right? Oh, I know. Right. And two. Mm-hmm. Art. Yeah. Personally, I find it quite disturbing that anyone would actually be sexually attracted to a ten-year-old in the first place. I know. Like that shouldn't happen. No, 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 no. I mean, you're sexually you're sexualizing someone that can't give consent. It doesn't, and it has no concept of being sexualized. You know. <sighs> Okay, okay, okay. I think there's so much they don't understand, and it's, they're just not ready. Okay. They should be kids. They shouldn't be har- harem objects. Okay. So you you need you need to make the distinction between f- fiction, non-fiction. Yes. You need to make you need to make that distinction. Yeah. Yes. You, you know, an animated ten-year-old is is fake. Yes. I would think that the line would be crossed if that were to those thoughts were to alter to a person who's real. So, if you consume ten ten-year-old anime porn. And suddenly find um, ten year olds in real life attractive, sexually attractive. That's when I would draw the line. I'm going to draw the line a whole lot earlier myself. Yeah, yeah, but 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 you know, there is a difference between the line that you would set for everyone else, yeah, and the line that you would set for yourself. You know, the thing is, um, there's a lot of ten year olds with well developed breasts nowadays because, um, I mean, I want to say that's a common thing, but. You do see it more often now than in the past, due to how diets, due to the Western diet and how fast we're just growing up. And if a man thinks that it's okay to sexualize a ten-year-old with large boobs, we're gonna start having problems. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and I, and I, and I'm not making this to sound creepy-ish or weird. Yeah. Do you have to get banned from teaching? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. You need to stipulate either you're talking about fiction yeah. or non-fiction. True. You need to stipulate the differences between the two. Yeah, but not a lot of people actually do that. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. So when you want to draw the line, mm? you need to specify where you want to draw the line. Yeah. I mean, I would draw the line even with sexualizing um, fictional young girls. Okay, and then that begs the question: Yeah, where 
Okay. <laughs> I don't even want to start on the damn slippery slope. What is... Okay. Would you... Consider... The line... Yeah? Your proverbial line... Yes? Is... Fiction equals reality. Well, fiction does not equal reality to me, but I'm keeping in mind that some people actually don't think that. Otherwise, the furries won't exist. Yes. So. That line yes. is drawn to... is for the benefit of the people who who blend reality with uh, fiction, because I've seen a lot of, a lot of that happen. Yes. So, so. yeah... Well, you, you, well, yeah, well, you know, what I'm getting at is that, <laughs> and, and we are always going to have this argument. Yes. No matter what. Um, yes, old guy, 16 year old, yes, it's illegal, but, but morally. Creepy. Yeah. There's a huge power imbalance. Yes. Right? Yeah. Right. Right, I mean... But, but, yeah. a 17-year-old and a 15-year-old... Mm, way is creepy. Yes. Yeah. And a lot more... I wouldn't really call it uh, acceptable, but... but, it's, but def it's definitely more normal. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it, 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 that's why I drew the line of fiction equals reality. Yeah, well, that's where the Romeo and Juliet laws come in, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, um, some of the stuff that people have told me about... Yeah. ...and were very... Um, ...made it into a problematic situation yeah. for myself. Ooh. I understood the reasons for the boundaries. I see. But what I needed to do was garner their trust so to to ensure yeah that that trust is there okay right right because there there has been instances where another male oh has done stuff right you mean the creepy uncle we'll go with that or the priest the Catholic priest. We'll go with the creepy uncle for now. Yeah. Where they have done that towards a particular person. Ew. And that that trauma. Yeah. Is that you know, has been with pe been with the person or people. Yeah. To a point where they saw me mm. as a potential threat. I see. Now, and <laughs> and I understand their point. Yep. Of why the thinking that, and getting me to <laughs> to, to to get to that point of trust, mm -hmm. because in my mind I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. Um, but I understand that that trust needs to be there. True. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, even those people that have come up to me and told me this, mm -hmm. they instilled a whole bunch of confidence to trust me on that. Yes. So yeah, that's interesting. Because this this doesn't happen to me once. This has happened to me twice. Because you know you're you used to the stereotype of the creepy white man. I know, and it it's, annoys me. It's it's infuriating, isn't it? Just as I fit the stereotype of a rich Asian bitch. Yeah. And that's like no, guys, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. I, 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 I spent so much. I spent so much effort to try and debunk that and trying to say I'm not one one of those crazy rich agents. Now, 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 can you start that sentence again, and then I will stop you accordingly. I spent so much effort trying to debunk that. Sophie is not an extra on crazy rich agents. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>
Amaste. <laughs> Amaste? Amaste? It's Namaste. No, on this day. Oh, on this, this day. day. <laughs> <laughs> on this day, Mike and Sophie realized my dear friends again. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. With that so, being said. On that note. Would you like to contact Mike? No, He's no, no. Wait, 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 wait. We have some late breaking news. Huh? My surgery has been brought forward. To? January. The? Don't know. So, what's the surgery for? Cataract. The second cataract? No, the first cataract. The first cataract. Has been put forward to January, February next year. Who did you kill to get that position? I don't know. Who did you bump into? Um. Who did you, who did you bump off? Um. The surgeon who not only did the transplant, yeah. but also did the stitches removal last week. Nice. So after the cataract removal, would you, have, would you, would you be able to see better? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Like, by how much? <sighs> Don't know yet. Has it all be worth having glasses now? Um, oh, yeah. Um, okay. So if you don't know what a cataract is, it is a cloud... On the lens. Yes. Right? So, because the lens is in the centre of your eye... Yeah? It can be manipulated. So, I thought they're going to remove the whole lens. That is their most valuable option, but what they're going to do... Yeah? Is that they are going to take the... They are going to take the cloud away... Yeah? And using ocular topography, yeah, insert um, an artificial lens. Yes. How long will that take? I will be awake for that surgery. A week. No, I will be awake for that, for that surgery. Will you see like the eye drill going towards your eyes? No, 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 because what they do yeah. is that they put a, an extremely bright light, like you are right up against a light bulb. Oh, my God. So you don't actually see anything, any tools going into. Oh, wow. How long have we been in the hospital for? Hours. A day. Hours. It's a day trip. It's a day trip. It's a day trip to the hospital. And uh, who will be taking you home? It'll probably be the same thing as before. Your half moon bay uncle. Or um, Auntie George. Auntie George, okay. Either either which one is available dependent on work schedules. Oh, I see. Or holiday schedules, one I or the other. Them. And if worst comes to worst, I can always order you an Uber. That is also true. Yeah. Uh, yes, the, that has happened before. Okay. Is that Mike, please, like... Please Sophie. pick up Mike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's that big, fat, white, moldy guy. I am the big, fat, fat um, couch pillow. <laughs> couch pillow, yeah. Yes. Very good couch pillow. Yes, couch pillow. Very warm, too. So that was my exciting news of the day. Me review. <laughs> well, you can contact us on... The Manus. Well done. T-H-E-M-A-R-N-U-S. Or... Sophie9709. Or... As your undecided podcast at gmail.com or at AYU podcast at AYU podcast. May your eyes be clear to the future ahead of you and may the clouds of your despair be dissipated by, uh, I forgot. By a little young boy. But really? That's Peter Phillips. Little baby boy. That, that sounds bad, Mike. I know.